So on March 6th, the Bank of Canada will be announcing its decision on either keeping interest rates stable for now or cutting down its rate throughout 2024 to start easing pressure on the market. Let's talk about what this means for the market and for you. Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Griffin here. And for the first time in a while, the markets are actually somewhat optimistic about what's most likely to come in the future regarding interest rates, right? We can see this optimistic influence in the stock market, of course, which has most recently seen all time highs. And it's also been felt in the housing market that's really starting to bottom out, at least in Canada, which we covered in one of my recent videos, right? And these speculations on interest rate cuts are now following post-pandemic inflation levels, which in Canada had peaked at just above 8% in 2022, but by the end of 2023 had declined to right around 3.5% and currently sits just below 3%, which can be seen as a direct result from tighter monetary policy through higher interest rates that calm demand in many markets. In fact, Tiff Macklem, the Bank of Canada's governor, has even recently stated the following regarding the progress on inflation levels. Lower inflation levels is welcome progress in response to a forceful tightening of monetary policy. The bank raised its policy interest rate 10 times in 17 months, and that slowed demand, rebalanced the economy, and is therefore bringing inflation down. Monetary policy is working, end quote. So yeah, it's safe to say that monetary policy is working in that respect, sure, but in the meantime, this did highly impact the cost of borrowing for millions of Canadians that are on variable rate mortgages and other loans. In a time where rampant inflation made the cost of living more unaffordable than ever in Canadian history, which is a topic that we covered quite thoroughly in my video on renewing mortgages in 2024 through to 2026. Don't miss out on that one if you haven't seen it already. Now, that being said, TIFF is always reluctant to make definitive statements on the markets and what's to come regarding monetary policy, but he has maintained his stance on the fact that inflationary variations on different goods and services will mean that reaching their 2% inflation target is still somewhat far off for now at least and will likely only be met in 2025. So what does this mean for the short-term impact on interest rates? Well, let's talk about that. All right, so it needs to be noted that until we actually get confirmation from the Bank of Canada itself, this is mostly speculation on what might be to come through just overall market sentiment. And moving forward, we can use certain indicators to assess market sentiment regarding Canadian interest rates, where one common approach involves looking at the movements of assets that are commonly considered in the market as safeguards or hedges against escalating interest rates, right? In times of rising interest rates, investors often opt for the at least perceived stability offered by guaranteed financial contracts offering higher rates of return. So one indicator to gauge market sentiment related to interest rates is by monitoring the prices of what's known as banker's acceptances, which are a type of common short-term investment where essentially banks ensure payment. That's all we really need to know here. And in Canada, futures contracts denoted as BAX or BAX, I suppose, that basically track the value of these banker's acceptances are traded on the Montreal Stock Exchange, where these contracts are utilized to derive implied short-term interest rate movements and probabilities in Canada. And look, while BAX prices can be subject, of course, to high levels of volatility due to frequent shifts in economic forecasts, well, as of February 27th, though, the data indicates that Canada is still on track for a gradual decline in interest rates over the next 12 months. And this observation reflects the sustained anticipation of a relatively soft landing for the Canadian Canadian economy following what we've just seen interest rate rise, where specifically the BAX prices suggest the following probabilities. So as it stands, there is roughly a 16% likelihood of a 0.25% reduction in interest rates in Canada in March 2024, which isn't high to be fair. But there's a 96% probability at this point of a 0.25% reduction by June 2024, so only 
a couple months down the road. And then a 94% probability of a 0.5% reduction by September 2024, followed with an 80% likelihood of up to a 1.5% reduction in interest rates by June 2025. So in roughly, you know, a year and a half. So look, ultimately, this is definitely speculation until confirmed by the Bank of Canada. But these values are in line with what many investors and economists have been predicting for gradual interest rate decreases through to 2025. I've personally been speaking about interest rates cut coming what I believe to be by mid 2024 for the better part of six months now on the channel, as we've seen inflation peak and start to decline over the past 12 months. And this is in parallel with millions of mortgage renewals coming up for renewal uh, over the next 24 months, which could provide honestly devastating for the Canadian housing market and ultimately just the Canadian economy as a whole, where if rates aren't brought back down in time for the majority of renewals, this could be very detrimental for many households. And of course, you know, it should be noted that no, it's not the Bank of Canada's responsibility per se to ensure lower interest rates in line with imminent waves of mortgage renewals. But considering that the housing market is truly the backbone of you know the Canadian economy where most Canadian wealth actually ends up being stored, well, it's definitely in the Bank of Canada's best interest to ensure that Canadian households will be able to somewhat maintain upcoming payments after renewal with newer and most likely higher rates. Otherwise, waves of mortgage defaults and foreclosures would be financially devastating for the country as a whole. By the way, I'll make a YouTube short following the Bank of Canada's decision on the 6th of March regarding their path towards interest rate cuts that they'll be setting out so make sure to subscribe to my channel to be updated on that news now quickly here i want to speak about the canadian housing market and buyer pool that's gearing up for interest rate cuts and this is following the video that i made last week about the housing market having bottomed at least so it would seem as i've seen some interesting data about home buyers views at this point on interest rates that are going to be impacting their buying decisions uh, that i think you'll want to see so according to a recent survey conducted by Royal Lepage, 56% of Canada's adult population says that they have postponed their property search because of higher interest rates, which does make sense, honestly, because with higher interest rates, well, it's higher to qualify for loans, for homes, I should say, that honestly haven't come off of their peak price all too much. Having said that, among these 56% of adult Canadians, apparently, according to this report, 51% say that they'll be ready to jump back into the market if interest rates do start to decline. Where of that 50% pool, for 10% of them, all it would take is a 25 basis point cut probably in the light of thinking that, well, this first cut will be indicative of continued rate decreases or a commitment at least from the Bank of Canada to start commencing those rate cuts over the following year. So, you know, taking out say a variable rate mortgage could be beneficial to get into a house while rates are coming down. 18% say that they'll be waiting for a rate cut between 50 and 100 basis points and 23% want to see a reduction of more than 100 basis points before they'll be ready to return to the market. But most interestingly, only 20% say that they no longer plan to buy a home. So what this data is essentially telling me at least, confirms my assumptions that we're seeing the market bottom out. And once rates start to decrease, buyers will be jumping back in, forcing property prices back up. That's really the only way that property prices can trend because there isn't much more supply than there's been over the past two to three years. That's something that we know very well based on all of the data by the CMHC. So what do you think? Are we headed for interest rate cuts over the next couple of quarters or will the Bank of Canada keep rates steady for the time being? Make sure to comment your thoughts down below in the video's comments. And if you wanna learn more about how you can actually prepare for a mortgage renewal, make sure to watch this video and check out the links down below for resources that I use and recommend. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.